Alright guys, second part of our saving data tutorial in the last tutorial, we pretty much built the shell of our program. In this tutorial, we're going to be building the meat of our program, or at least whatever we get through. So, hold on. <coughs> oh, that was disgusting and it smells. So, shells and meat. I suddenly want to talk about it right now, but anyways. Let's go ahead and the path file, as promised, what this method needs to do is return the path to our file inside our documents folder. Now let me give you some background. Every app has its own documents folder and you can only access what's in your documents folder. You can't access the documents folder in another app. Steve Jobs was so kind to do this for security purposes. He gave every app its own documents folder and you're only allowed to read what's in that. So what we want to do is create a file inside that folder and in this file we want to be able to save data, read and write data to it. So what we need to do is in this method go ahead and get a path to that folder and go ahead and pretty much put a file in it. So in order to do that it's this ns array, create an array called pass and then go ahead and call a method called ns search for paths and directories domain ns documents directory there we go guessing pretty good so far ns user nope nope domain there you go I had faith in the Xcode and yes so what this method does is it returns you an array of pretty much directories now you're just gonna have to trust me on this one your documents directory is the first object in this array just trust me in this one alright I mean you really don't need to know how this method works um, that's why it's built in it's kinda like you know you don't need to know how a microwave works in order to use a microwave you just need to know how to use it so you know just trust me on this one ns string documents folder documents folder looks good looks good so as I said our documents folder is pass that pass array right here object at index zero so right now we have a string that is to the documents folder we're saying alright well don't we want a string to the file that's inside that folder since that's the file we're going to be working with well yes we do so all you need to do is go ahead and return documents folder string by appending format and then whatever you want to name your file my file dot plist and make sure it's plist and I know I didn't talk to you guys about properties list but um you know I don't have anything to say after that I just didn't talk to you guys about it. I'm sorry and so this pretty much what this method is doing is it's returning you a path to this file right here and this plist file this property list file is where we're going to be doing all of our saving and writing and everything like that so that's how that works so now we need to build the meat for this application will terminate and what this method is is this is the method that's going to get called whenever your application is about to quit so whenever someone presses the home button and you quit it this is the code that's going to be run so we're saying alright what do we want to do in this method before we begin what we want to do is we want to take the text out of the text field and save it to a file so you know we could use it later so let's go ahead and do this ns mutable array go ahead and create an array called an array pretty cool huh and then go ahead and there we go ns mutable array alloc Kate, some space initialize it so pretty much we have a blank array right here not a blanket array so now we want to add some to it add object let's go ahead and add the text from that text field so now we have an array with that text field is the only object in that array so we're saying alright now we have to somehow take this array and write it to a file Oh, this is going to be confusing. Probably some real long method. Oh, no, my friend. Check this out. Array, write to file, and then you put what file do you want to write it to? Oh, man, now we got to get that. Oh, wait a minute. We want to write it to self path 
of file. Wow, this is incredibly easy. We already have a method to the file we want to write it to, and we just have to call that method. So you guys thought I was just doing this for fun randomly because I'm drunk, but I'm not. And now just go ahead and put yes, and we're good to go. I mean, we should go ahead and array release because don't forget anything you allocate you need to release so that is all there is to saving your data so now whenever this application closes any time the user hits the home button it's gonna take the text out of field one and it's gonna save it to a file but we're saying alright so when your application opens then how's it know to uh, get that information well it doesn't yet we didn't build that code yet but this is all there is to saving data now in order to read that data on startup and use it again I mean we're gonna have to build some more methods and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in the next tutorial but for now check this out you just learned how to save data I mean that's pretty cool you can pat yourself on the back so uh yeah I'm gonna pound some more beers and I'm going to meet you guys in the next tutorial. I'm just saying, Bucky, what if I can't wait to the next tutorial? What am I supposed to do then? Well, I got a nice app in the link below that you can go ahead and download if you want. I made it. First app ever. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out my app, please. I'm begging you. I'm on my knees begging you. And, uh, yeah, in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to actually take the data that we saved, rip it from the file, and actually use it in our program. So uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.